<clears throat> Hello, welcome to another review, but this time, if you are thinking this is the 2010 version, but it's not, this is the legacy version you see in front. Oh, no. oh I better, uh, let me just move you guys back, and then I can unveil the first comparison. Um, I've got the 93 batch on the left, with the mastered on headless, and then you've got the 2010 on the right, and then you've got Legacy in the middle. Right, so look at first. Right, there's your free size. Right, Let, I'm going to take a look at each one individual Zord and compare it, see what the difference were. Starting with, the most common is the Pterodactyl. Let me just move you guys back. Let's move you guys back. Makes it easier for me to do my comparison, even though I've got a stretch without the Transaurus falling. Give me my Pterodactyls. 93 Pterodactyl. No wings. 2010 Pterodactyl. All wings, just a printed sticker. And a red top. Legacy. Chrome sticker. A die cast head. Ignore the cannons. There's your three Pterodactyls. There's your three pterodactyls. Let's put them back in there and put them back in their individual places. I have this one standing back up on its cannons. Um, oh yes, and note, and note on the legacy one, the head is die cast. Can I have the saber tooth tiger, please? Ninety three. Legacy. 2010. Just move these down. Just move this down. To apologise. To apologise, but I'm gonna have to move these T-Rexes. I'm gonna have to move. Sorry about this. I'm a bit disorganised. I'm moving all this up. There's 93. Chunky, fat, and wheels. Chrome on the tusk. What was going on with the stickers? 2010. I bought this with no stickers. No stickers. And that bit painted. Legacy. That bit painted on the silver. Two two black circles, but the the twenty this no wheels. Die cast on the cannon. Paint here, here. The missing paint is here, here, and here. And even painted these bits on the twenty ten. So Legacy back. Legacy 93 fat Mastodon 93 no head 2010 all plastic um, Legacy matte, matte finish head this one's headless it's common you're gonna see if you want if you want an original Megazord good fine one this is the one with no head 2010 2010 Master done. All with black, black with printed stickers that you seem to have that sticker put on side down. Upside down, which is common. Legacy weighs a ton. These bits are die cast. The arm bits are die cast. With, with a lightish black right around for the sticker. There we go, there's your Master Duns. So, 93. Legacy 2010. Triceratops. 93 Chunky Fat Cannons Loose Oh Legacy The die cast is in the cannon And And Paint there Paint there Paint there Paint there And 2010 Plastic Missing paint, and the bottom of the triceratops is grey rather than black. Legacy 2010 93. The Tyrannosaurus 93. Fat and chunky with buttons and to control its legs. Legacy. 2010, light as a feather. Apart from some of the modifications I did on, to my, on myself. 
put that paint never supposed to be there so right let's form right let's go back to the legacy shall we let's go back to legacy shall we let's go back to the star attractions which are these let's go back to the legacy swords right the legacy swords right right i got the master the Tyrannosaurus, mastodon triceratop not triceratop Pterodactyl, saber tooth tiger, Tyrannosaurus, and Mastodon in an eBay auction, thirty-one pound. Of course, the sword I took from twenty ten fits in the le legacy hand. I've got the Triceratops for twenty quid on its own. Makes it makes my legacy set complete. Right, can it form tank mode? They all can do. <laughs> right before that, let's let's make let's form a tank mode. Let's do 93, I think, as well first. Let's do, let's do 93. Easy. Let's do 93. Easy. Let's do 93. Your arms are very loose and very squeaky. Oh, I think I put the arms up. The only thing that's holding this up is the. Mm. Hang on. So this is hard to do in tank mode, but you can't put the tail down on the on the Tyrannosaurus on the Tyrannosaurus tank mode. You have to move the feet down. So if you want to get if you want to form tank mode on the original, you're not going to be you're not going to be able to. What? So this is the best you're gonna do. So this is what you're gonna best. This is what you're gonna. This is best. Oh, this is better. There's 93s. <laughs> well, there's 93. Oh god. Oh, sorry. There's 93s tank mode on the left. Let me just loose this out. Right, there we are. Let me just loose this one out. So there's 93s tank mode. Legacy. Uh, let's do legacy. Sabertooth Tiger. Triceratops. Master Down. Master Down. I should really just. It's like what you do in the 2010 version, but this is a lot better. Let me just sort this out. Ouch, ouch, you my finger. There you can see legacy in the middle. That makes it easier. The only reason I'm putting legacy in the middle because it's easier. Legacy, just put the cannons on. Just put the cannons on. There we are. There we are, there's legacy. So far we can see a difference already. We can see a difference already see a difference already so you can see a difference between the 93 version and legacy now that's 2010 we may as well do the original legacy mold which is the 2010 simple as usual if you want to see the review for this version i'll put a card in it i'll probably put a tag in it i'll probably put a tag in it i'll probably put a card in it i'll probably put a card in it during the video, I'll put a card in it. You don't want, I don't, oh god, I'm gonna get the arm away. <laughs> I don't really want to do another review of the 2010 version. It would have been easier. This one, you can have the, for the 2010 versions, you can have the tail up. So there's 2010. So there's 2010. Almost, 2010 is almost done. For tank mode, I might have to raise my tripod in a bit here as well. There we are, and there's 2010 on the right. There we are, there we are. That's better. That's better. You've got, you've got, see, see, you've got 93 on the left, legacy in the middle, and and 2010 on the right, which is on the right. <laughs> 
they both form the same exo, but one's got more paint. Look, that's chunky. Oh, that's got paint, metallic paint and die cars. It's going to move that one to the middle. So I know this one's the newer one I'm looking at. I'm just doing comparisons during the reviews. <laughs> they both have one thing in common they have them missing. When I originally got the 2010 version, I got the sword, but I gave it to the Legacy version. So now the Legacy version has the swords. This one doesn't have any of it, and I forgot to mention all the Triceratops comparisons. That's sil I forgot the horns are silver and all the pl plastic is silver. And, and also on the original, the horns were missing. They're molded in. Right, so let's form the Megazords. But two, these two don't have the cannons, right. Let's form the Megazords. 93. 93. 93's Megazord. 93's Megazord. Big chunk, big and chunky. Big and chunky. Big and chunky. When I finish this Megazord, I've got to put it when I finish this Megazord, I've got to put it back in Titanus. Because it's displays ultras all downstairs. And I don't need it anyway. I'll bolt. I'll do the heads last. I'll do the hordes last. So there's there, there's 93s. So there's 93 Zords. Legacy, take the third actor off. The one, the only one key difference is I've got the cans to these. And the shield. Legacy. I will do a couple. I will do a comparison. It will support the Mega Dragons on. I'll get I'll get the Mega Dragons on comparison between the original and the legacy one. Well, I'm not gonna do that yet until I get my support brackets. Until I get the support brackets. Until my support brackets have arrived. Legacy. Legacy in the middle. Now 2010s. You all seen how the 2010 one is exactly the same as this one. It's the same as this one. It's the same as this one. Same as this one. God, this one's difficult. Ah, there we are. Apart from though, I broke. I did break the pin, the peg. Uh, on the 2010 version, I was taking the Meg taking the Dragon Sword off. There we are. There we are. Now let me show this up. There we go. Let's move this Mega Sword up. Move this one to the middle and move this one up. There we go. There we go. We've got 93 on the left. Legacy in the middle. 2010 on the right. 2010 on the right. And Legacy in the middle. Which one of these do you prefer? Do you prefer the original, 2010 version, or Legacy? <laughs> Excuse my telly, because I'm watching DVD as well, and I'm baking. So which one do you prefer more? Please let me know. Right. The only key difference with this one is, this one's got metallic paints and die cast. That was the new mould for 2010, and made it Zord Builder. Apparently the original mould were destroyed, so it just for this one, this one is now becoming rare. It can hold the sword, but not will do it. It'll fit in this hand nicely. And this is the original sword. This is the original sword for 2010. And you give it to Legacy, it will still fit. Give it to Legacy, it will fit. Here we are. So let me know. In, all right. Before that, you got you all. They all got the same movements, <laughs> but they're all Megazords. They're all the original Dino Megazord. Plus, I grew up with this band. I've I've owed that one, and now that's no longer me. And then that one's no longer me since I got this one. So anyway, anyway, technically it's a re technically it's technically a, like a review and a comparison. So let me just seize you off and seize you off. Let me get rid of you two. Let me get rid of you two. Let me get rid of you two Megazords. Get rid of, let, me get rid of, let me get rid of these two Megazords. 
Let me get rid of these Megazords. 2010 and the 93. There we are. So now I can give you a quick glance. I'm going to shut up and let you have a look at the Zords. I do apologise. <laughs> I do apologise to another fan. Let's just put the sword on. There we are. Okay, if you like this video as well, if you want to check out my lightning collection review, but stay tuned. But stay tuned for lightning figures. Stay tuned. We've got that coming up. We've got that review to come up. And then we got then we have then we've got then we got Lord Draken figure coming up as well. And then we've got Lord Draken. And probably then my putties. But those are the next things that are coming up on my channel to be reviewed. Please stay tuned. Oh, if you like the video, subscribe. Oh god. Share it. I think my other lightning figures are falling. My other lightning figures are falling. <laughs> if you like other Megazord reviews, I've got a spare Megazord I can do a review on. If you like this review, put a like, comment, comment on what request. Check my God of War 3 gameplays. If no doubt anyone's going to watch them as they're very gruesome. Anyway, yes, if you like these reviews, or a Jurassic World review, if you like it, but if you like these reviews, stay tuned. Um, um, yes, hello, welcome to an extension of this Legacy Megazord review. Well, in the background here, you can see the Dragon Zord is prepared for a culmination, which I couldn't do in the last video. If I did if I did the combination like this, it will just completely fall. It will just completely fall. Completely fall like like that. It will just completely fall like that. Literally. But I have solved the problem. So now you can tell now it's leaning. You can see on the side it's sort of leading. It's supposed to be straight, but it's leading. Even with the sword. Even with the sword. Ah. Can you fix that? Yes, you can. I got these lovelies. Got these lovely brackets. I've got them off eBay. That's how you insert them. That's how you insert them. If you don't have to do it, watch this video. If you want these, look and look on eBay for them. Right beforehand. Right. How you insert them? You get your Megazord. You get your Megazord. You take its legs off, but for, for the other for the other half of the combination, I will be taking the arms off, and I'll be taking the cannons off as well. <laughs> and then your Megazord is either like this or with the arms in. So what you do next, you can put these in the right way round, put them in the right way round. You just shove them in. Same verse, just like the first. Then it may put it may put a bit more weight on them. It may put a bit more weight on it. Oh. It may put a bit more weight on it, but now, why are we going to do this? We're going to form the Mega Dragons. Also, in the instructions, it will ask you to take the arms out and uh, and open this up. And I've got to move the tail down as well because this is going to be difficult. Just move all this to the side. This is what all you got to take. This is what you got to take off. So now you got to get these back horns. You got you got to get these leveled with that which is not it, it isn't a fun job because I tend to I tend to display my swords as ultra swords because this is difficult you can, this is this is this is one of the scariest combination this is one of the scariest combinations to do god I can't even get it in <laughs> I can't even get it in. Right. Can't even get it in. Right. Just gotta make sure these back thingies are in. Make sure those back thingies are on. I don't want the Master Dragon Sword battle mode. I just want the Megazord. Right. Ah, here we are. Oh, balls. Almost had it. <laughs> Almost had it. Just have to do the tail down. It's got to move. You just gotta move this up. So this is the extension. This is the extension from the uh, ouch. See those little red tabs at the back? They've got to be level. They have to be level. It's such an incredible machine. 
Put these hard. Oh, we've got it. There we go. See those? There you are. If you're happy with it, connect it in. Which I'm not, which I'm going to unclip. Which I'm going to unclip it and I'm going to do it properly. If you're not happy with that mouth, the mouth is supposed to shut. Yes, the mouth is supposed to shut. So you just push it in more. I think you then just push it in more. I don't want the mouth. Oh, balls. Mm. There we are. You want the mouth to shut. Not open. You want the mouth to shut. God, I can't even get it out. Oh no, I can't get it out. Oh god, this is gonna be a struggle. <laughs> this is gonna be a struggle, isn't it? This might be a struggle. Because I want to get this out. Might be a struggle because I want to get this out. Might be a struggle because I want to get this out. Ah, oh, yes, there we are. And then I'm gonna do it again, but with the mouth shut. Do it again, but with the mouth shut. Uh, I'm gonna have to do this off camera. <laughs> Bear with me. Sorry about the four minute, sorry about the four minute mess about, but I managed to get the top on. I managed to get the top on. You see those little bits there? They need to be attached round to the back, and that's got to be flopped upwards. There you go, and there's the head. There's the head. So now, all you've got to do now is you've got to get those little tabs. Like it's underneath, just be careful they don't break. You did put one in. And put the other one in. Close the chest plate up. If you're happy with it, close the chest plate up. And of course, put the tail where the where the dragon puts all pieces. So then you put the tail where the, where the end flap is. And there we go. And then we have the top part of the Mega Dragon Sword. There we are. There you go. We've got the top part for the Mega Dragon Sword. But then, what I always do is put the cannons. Me, I always put the cannons back in. There we are. And then you got to do the arms. And you got to do the arms. Put the arms back on. I never did this in the original review because in the original review it was too light. It was light as a feather. The other one. This one's heavy. There we are. One more thing is the legs. One more thing. Then one more step. And you put the legs back on. One more thing. You put the legs back on. God, right. There we are. There we are. So now, so now, there we are. Mm. So now that's holding a lot better now. That's now holding better. That's now holding better. Now this is the Mega Dragon. So it's it's very strong. So it's quite strong now. It's quite strong now. These will last you. Those days will just secure the back of the Tyrannosaurus's legs. There we are. If you want these brackets, go on eBay. I recommend them if you want your if you want your legacy Megazord to stay straight and have the Mega Dragon Zord. It's perfect if you want the type Mega Dragon Zord combination. I'll give you a figure update. I do have the Black Lightning Collection figure. It's not going to be here for I don't know how long. Probably don't know how long it's gonna be here, but anyway, it's not about it's about the brackets. If you want the brackets, eBay. If you want the brackets, well, that was just an, that was just a up that was just an extension update on the Legacy Megazord because you can have those brackets. But I will rearrange, reposition them again. I'll have another fiddle, and I will see you in another video. Hotter.